By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of how we can use CPR to save lives. This video is brought to you in conjunction with Faith to Unite Charitable Foundation and Trust. CPR stands for Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation. CPR is an emergency measure we can use to provide immediate support for someone who has collapsed and not breathing. It can help keep someone alive until emergency services arrive. If you ever see someone who is collapsed or unconscious, you must remember the doctor's ABC. D is for danger. Before you begin, check your surroundings to ensure going to help someone will not put your own life at risk. Next, if you can safely reach the person, try to get them out of any danger they may be in. R is for response. Shake them gently by the shoulders and ask them loudly, are you all right or can you hear me? If they show no significant response, you must then S. Shout for help. Anyone who can help will be useful. A is for airway. Make sure they are lying on their back, then tilt the head back by placing your fingers on their chin and your palm on their forehead, like this. This will open up their airway. B is for breathing. You must look, listen and feel for signs of normal breathing. Look for regular chest movements, listen for breathing sounds and try to feel their breath against your face. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. If they show no signs of breathing or they are breathing in an unusual and noisy manner, you must start CPR. First, call an ambulance. If you have someone with you, ask them to make the call. The ambulance number for Chennai is 108 or 102. The Apollo Hospital's ambulance number is 1066. Leave the phone on speaker. The emergency staff may be able to guide you through the process. C is for circulation. It is the flow of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood around our bodies and it's controlled by the heart. When our heart stops functioning properly, we can manually take over this role by pushing down hard and fast on the chest. Start by placing the palm of one hand at the center of the person's chest. Place the other hand on top and interlock your fingers as shown. Keep your arms straight and push down hard and fast on the chest, letting the chest come back up fully each time. The pressure should be coming from your elbows. Keep your arms straight and use your upper body and shoulders to push down. Hard means the chest needs to go down by five centimeters or two inches each time. This may seem like a lot, but you need to push hard for effective circulation. Fast means you need to push every two seconds or at 100 to 120 beats per minute. Here are a few songs that are at 100 to 120 beats per minute. You can time your compressions to their beat. Follow the CPR playlist we made on Spotify to make sure you always have some CPR tracks on hand. If you have been trained, you can provide two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions by pinching the nose and blowing air through the mouth and holding the airway open. However, if you have not been properly trained through our workshops or are not comfortable with it, you can simply continue with compressions. If someone else is with you, swap over when you begin to feel tired and aren't able to keep pushing hard and fast. Whatever you do, don't stop until emergency services arrive or the person is definitely breathing normally. Sometimes you can add a final step, D for defibrillation, where a shock is delivered to restart the heart. This is not always possible in India, but some institutions and many more abroad have an easy to use defibrillator on site called an AED or automatic external defibrillator. It will lead you through the steps and automatically sends the right electric shocks. If no EED is available, continue with compressions till the ambulance arrives. So to recap, remember doctors A, B, C, and if available, D. D is for danger, R for response, S is to shout for help, A for airway, B for breathing, C for circulation, and D for defibrillation. With these simple steps, you can save someone's life. We will be providing training workshops at your school in conjunction with Dr. M.M. Yusuf and his team from Apollo Hospitals. Dr. M.M. Yusuf is a cardiothoracic surgeon specializing in minimally invasive cardiac surgery, robotic heart surgery, aortic aneurysm surgery, mitral valve repair, and heart transplant. Share the skills you learned today with your friends and family. Let's make India more equipped to save lives.